it's really important to listen to as many saxophone players as you can. Sometimes people neglect that, forgetting that you'll only ever produce on the saxophone what you're, what you're able to imagine. And when we listen to great players, um, we, it helps us to develop a concept of how we want to sound. For example, if you listen to some of the most famous jazz players, you'll hear a variety of sounds. Um, I could talk chronologically, for example, about the early alto players, Johnny Hodges, Benny Carter, and then going into the 40s, you've got Charlie Parker, and then later people like Lee Konitz, Art Pepper, Paul Desmond, Phil Woods, Cannibal Adderley, Ornette Coleman, David Sanborn, they all make really quite distinctive sounds on the saxophone. And part of your journey is going to be listening to, to as many different players. And don't forget, it's important also to listen to some of the really fine classical players. Um, I could mention people like John Harl or Martin Robertson, because that's another way of playing the saxophone. The saxophone is not just a, just a jazz instrument. And listening to all these different players is going to help you to develop your own concept of how you want to sound on the saxophone. Also, I'd say that it's, it's helpful not just to listen to saxophone players, but to listen to good tone on any instrument, especially if it's one that has a, a roughly similar uh, register to, to the alto saxophone. For example, listening to great trumpet players, listening to good singers. I mean, one of my, my favorites is Ella Fitzgerald. I think she makes a, just an incredible sound with her voice. And, and her voice is a kind of lower pitched female voice, which corresponds with the register of, a, of an alto saxophone. So listening to Ella can be an inspiration for me in trying to produce a better sound on the saxophone.